Okay, so um, we are going to be working with layers. So we have two artboards here with uh, four um, label designs. So um, if we look at our layers panel, so here's layers, you'll see that there's one layer. So by, def by default in Illustrator, uh, you will always have just one layer called layer one. And if I open it up, it's a mess. So Basically, everything is just shoved in there as individual objects, not very useful um, and poorly managed. So what we're going to do is for Artboard 1, I'm going to take you through the steps of organizing your stuff into um, layers. And then for uh, the second Artboard, you're going to do that on your own as an exercise and then submit this file. So the first thing I'm going to do is make some layers here. So I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to call it orange label. And I'm going to select all the artwork that make up the orange marmalade label. Now you'll see that as soon as I select stuff in a layer, it gets a little colored box there to tell me that there are objects selected in this layer. And you'll see that this layer has a green color coding and you'll see that the bounding boxes and the um, the selection outlines are green that's kind of my visual cue to say that the, these objects are in the green layer so i'm just going to open it up and scroll down and you can see there are all of the objects that i've selected because they have the little green box next to them so i want to move those objects so i'm just going to collapse the layer for the time being i'm going to move those objects into the orange label uh, layer by dragging that little box up to that layer. And so in order for me to check that, the easiest way is to, to hide that layer. And yes, indeed, all of those objects are in that layer. I'm going to then make another layer and call it Melon Label. And I'm gonna select all the artwork that makes up that label and move that into that layer. So if I hide or, and show that layer, there are all of the objects that make up that label. So that means layer one is left with the stuff that you're going to manage on your own. So at the moment, I'm just gonna temporarily lock that so that I can't mess with it. And I'm just going to zoom into just the first artboard. So now that I have my objects in their own layers, I can now organize them a bit better. So I'm going to make a sub layer from this button at the bottom here that says create new sub layer. Okay, and I'm going to call that sub layer um, logo. And then I'm going to select all the stuff that makes up the logo just by dragging over it. And of course, I've selected too much. I've also selected the label. So shift click on the label to subtract it from my selection. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of those objects. So down here, you can see the colored boxes, move those up to that sub layer. And I'm going to undo that because this is a bit tedious An easier way for me to do it. Actually, I'm going to undo one more level is instead of making sub layers is to select and group, which is kind of like making a sub layer really. So I'm selecting the logo and I'm going to command or control G. And now you can see there's a group here that I can also rename logo. So it's basically a sub layer um, a group and a sub layer are the same thing, essentially. Then I'm going to take all just the text. So I'm going to select all the text and shift click on the label to subtract it from that command or control G. And I'm going to call that text. Okay, that leaves me with just this one object, which is this background label, which I'm just going to rename to label. So that's now a very nicely managed um, piece of artwork. It's got it's all in its own layer and in its own sub layers or groups. 
nicely managed. So let's do one more for the melon label. So I'm going to select the logo, shift click on the label to subtract it, and I'm going to group it, command or control G, and I'll call that logo. And then I'll select the text, subtract, whoops, I need to select all the text, subtract the label, control or command G, here it is here, text, and then the background here will be label. Okay, so that is a nicely managed piece of artwork. So what I want you to do now is to go to the second artboard, unlock layer one. You're going to create two new layers, one for the kiwi fruit label and one for the peach label. And you're going to move the artwork into those uh, layers and you're going to group them exactly as I've done into logo, text and label. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time.